Alone, in spite of the fact that some people still think that they know, but no, he knows the code. It's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, tax picking it up. Let's go. Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much, never concerned with status, but still even in starstruck. Humble through opportunities, given despite the fact that many misjudge him because he makes a living from writing raps. Put it together himself, got a picture connects, never asking for some. Help, help to get some respect. He's only focused on what he wrote. His will is beyond reach. And now it all unfolds the skill of an artist. This is 20% skill, 80% fear. Be 100% clear. Cause Ryu was ill. Who would have thought he'd be the one that set the West in flames? Then I heard him wreck it with the crystal method name of the game. Came back, dropped mega death, took him to church. I like bleach, man. Why you had the stupidest verses? Dude, is the truth. Now everybody giving them guest spots. His stocks through the roof. I heard him them with that. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. They call him right, he's sick and he's spitting fire and might. Got him out the dryer, he's hot. Found him in Fort Minor with top, but a denial is porcupine. He's a, he's a, the type women wanna be with them rappers. Hope he gets eight years in the making, patiently waiting to blow. Now the record with your notice taking over the globe. He's got a partner in crime. It's is equally dope You won't believe the kind of That comes out of this kid's throat He's not your everyday on the block He knows how to work with wood He's got making his way to the top He don't think it's a common on his name People keep asking him Was it giving that birth That doesn't stand for an act But no, he's living proof Put him rock in the booth He'll get you buzzing quicker Than a shot of vodka with juice Juice, him and his crew Are known around as one of the best Dedicated to what they do And give 100% Forget Mike Nobody really knows how or why He works so hard it seems like he's never got time because he writes every note and he writes every line and i've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind it's like a design is written in his head every time before he even touches a key or speaks in a rhyme and those other fellas he runs with the kids that he signed ridiculous without even trying how do they do this is 10 percent luck 20 percent skill 15 percent concentrated power of will Five percent pleasure, fifty percent pain, and a hundred percent reason to remember the name. This is ten percent luck, twenty percent skill, fifteen percent concentrated power of will. Five percent pleasure, fifty percent pain, and a hundred percent reason to remember the name. Fort Minor, M. Shinoda, Styles of Beyond.
Good evening and welcome to tonight's lacrosse game between our visitors from Tallahassee McClay and your homestanding Oak Hall Eagles. Would you please rise now for our national anthem? <laughs> Once again, good evening. I'd like to introduce the starting lineups for tonight's game. For our visitors from McClay, the McClay Marauders come into the game with an 11-3 record, ranked number 12 in the state of Florida. And the starters are, on attack, number two, Stephen Chase. Number four, Tucker Schwartz. Number eight, Carter Torgerson. At midfield, number five, Trip Transu. Number seven, Javier Masferrer. And also number eight, make that Carter Torgerson, make it number 19, Luke Langford. On defense, number three, Teddy Transu. Number 25, Andreas Masterferrer. And number 32, Jimmy Wheeler. And in goal tonight, number 11, Connor Lamba. Head coach for the Marauders, Mike Jones, his assistant, Sean Neary. And for your homestanding Oak Hall Eagles, with a record of 12 and 0, currently ranked number 8 in the state of Florida. On defense, number nine, Nick Sarantos. Number 34, Nate Coons. And number zero, Josh Noble. At midfield, number 19, Danny Sturt. Number 15, Tyler Baggett. And number 21, Brad Pita. On attack, number 14, Jake Kirshner. Number two, Will Oliver. And number three, Luke Caputo. And in goal, number 20, Miles Davis. I'm out or call. They do. In fact, all the schools have their own individual websites. Oh, thank Picture you very much. I'm going to have to hold on. Uh, yeah, so each school has... So each school has their own site. So like right now... So the more archive back for the year... So here's the game right now. We're actually partners with them, so we stream all the championship, um, state championship stuff. Yeah, 
against McClay gives O'Call man up. O'Call go by Danny Sturt off the assist by Tyler Baggett at the 9.35 mark of the first quarter. O'Call 1, McClay 0.
30 second penalty against Nick Sarantos. Man up for McClay. goal by Jack Berg assist by Trip Transu at the 722 mark of the first quarter O'Call 1 McClay 1 Trissy you got it Saved by Miles Davis. Tucker Schwartz, the assist. Yeah, 
my school has. No, 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 no. Time out, O call. A reminder that Booster Bash will be held at Tioga Town Center on Sunday, April 14th from 4 to 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale now at boosterbash.com. Come support OH Athletics. Tickets are $40 per person, $25 for teetotalers. No one under 21 will be admitted. That's Sunday, April 14th, 4 to 7 p.m. at Tioga Town Center, Burgundy Booster Bash. Also, we would like to thank all of you participate who participated in the 14th Annual Hoops for Heart. And this, our inaugural red out. We have achieved our goal of 10000 to fight heart disease and stroke, $10,000 that is. Great job, O'Call. Go Eagles. Shirts are still available at the admission table for $15 each. Once again, O'Call Hoops for Heart, raising $10,000 for a great cause. That goal by Will Oliver, assist by Tyler Baggett at 356 of the first quarter. Oak call two, McClay two.
Time out, McClay. McClay penalty against number five, Trip Transu. O'Call will be man up. And that is the end of the first quarter with your score, O'Call to McClay to. Oh, my God. 
So this is always going to be the McClay is a big rival. You go back to fall side. You don't play a big sport. back to fall side. You've had a lacrosse program how long now? 2003 ish. Okay. We don't play on basketball, too much, or volleyball. We might run into the three. He has been by Jake Kushner, unassisted at the 11-19 mark of the second quarter. Oak Hall 3, McClay 2. against McClay will give Oak Hall man up. Timeout, McClay. Both teams have used their two timeouts for the first half. Yeah, 
Carter Torgerson assist Jeff Auger for the McClay goal 9-13 of the second quarter O'Call 3 McClay 3 Play goal by number eight, Torgerson. Assist by Schwartz at the 742 mark of the second quarter. McClay four, Oak Hall three.
That goal by Luke Caputo, assist by Danny, St by Danny Sturt at the 6.09 mark of the second quarter, Oak Hall 4, McClay 4.
McClay goal by Tucker Schwartz, assist by Jack Berg at the 158 mark of the second quarter. McClay 5, Oak Hall 4. Offsides against O'Call, McClay retains possession. Let's go, McClay. 
Play goal by Trip Transu with 3.5 seconds left in the first half. McClay 6, O'Call 4. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. One, two, We're gonna come at you. One shot. This. Three sixteen. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot. This. Three sixteen left to go in this ball game. High formation, third and three from the 45 of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's going to run us to the 5 10. Touchdown, Wolverines! How did that happen? Jason that was Snyder. Holy cow! He was in the backfield. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. One shot at this. Three sixteen left to go in this ball game. High formation, third and three from the forty-five of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's going to run us to the 5, 10, touch. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to come at you. One shot at this. Three sixteen left to go in this ball game. High formation, third and three from the forty-five of the Wolverines. And this time, holy cow! Dion almost hands it to the Westview player. He's going to run us to the five ten touchdown, Wolverines. How did that happen? Jason that was Snyder. Holy cow! He was in the backfield before the running back could even get the handoff. He took the handoff from he Dion. He took the ball right out of Dion's hands and just. <laughs> Holy cow! Can't say I've seen that one very often. Snyder comes shooting in from the A gap. 
I think Dion froze when he saw him. He's ready to hand off to his running back. He froze when he saw him and just hand, let him have the ball. 12 seconds to go. Oh, you could hear a pin drop. Five, four, three, two. Get the snap off. Last play of the game. Brewster rolls right, gets away from two sacks. Dons win, sack at the 20-yard line. What a game. And number 40, Lucas Zinder with the game-saving sack. And there is heartbreak on one sideline and a jubilation on another. Offset eye for the Grizzlies as Keeney takes it under center. They'll send a man in motion. Pitch back to Bird on the sweep. Bird finds a seam. He might go, folks. 20, 15, 10. Drags a tackler. Touchdown! Bird goes 38 yards for the touchdown on the sweep. One more snap is all it's going to take, and there you have it, folks. Your 2011 Division I Sac Joaquin section champions, the Granite Bay Grizzlies, as they defeat Pleasant Grove 30-24. to Jacqueline Williamson. Her serve is over. Dug by Holt. Giblin going back to Holt near side, cut shot, kept alive, back in one by Cathedral, and this one is out as Castanon Hill sends it wide, and the Cathedral Dons have won the title 16-14 in game five. Thomas with the ball, swings it out to Norris. Cameron Taylor tried to block that one away. Norris with a strong take, blocked by B.J. Anya. Huge block, Robinson leading the break the other way, gets it to Grant, oh. slam dunk Jeremy Grant off the feed from James Robinson. What a play by the Stag. Runner at third is Chavez, eight to two the score. Bottom of the seventh, the one, two. Popped in the air, this should do it. Corda Posse says it's mine. Now he's fading on it. And he can't make the catch, but Gaff comes in from center field and does. Congratulations to the St. Mary's Rams, a three-peat. They win it eight to two against Franklin to take the series two games to none. But this is time to run an offensive set that you've done all through the season in practice. Yeah. And you get, also, you know, you get it to your to your hottest player right now, just like they're getting it to Eichhorst right here. He's going to try to create some space, find somebody on the backside that's open. Eichhorst flush out to the right. Oh, breaks free of a player. Eichhorst on his own, shoots and scores, bounces the shot home. Kuz can't handle the shot. Eichhorst takes off the shirt and the helmet. And how about that? Alex called it. Eichhorst, after sustaining the injury in the third quarter of play, has scored the game winner with 22 seconds gone in the overtime period. Dog pile on the field. Marin Academy take it. A fantastic finish to this game. And, well, I hope his other ankle isn't hurting after this. Hancock to his immediate left. Two receivers far side, one near side. Hancock on a counter right side. He's inside the 10. He bounces off a tackler at the 10. The 5. Touchdown, Helix. And behind Hancock, the field is littered with white jerseys on the turf. Wow. Hancock not to be outdone by his fellow uh, <laughs> playmakers on offense. Put on a show on that short 12-yard touchdown run. Looked like he was down after three yards. Just threw a defender on the ground. As sophomore Chris Carter that's under center. In their tight wing formation, Lycos in motion. Second back through is Freeman. Freeman just knocking people over. Look at him run, breaks through, four tackles, and now it's just a foot race to the end zone. And Freeman's going to go the distance. Touchdown, Imperial, on the first play of the second half. Second and six for Imperial from their own 47. They're going to give it to Freeman again off the right, left side. And Freeman gets by one wave and down across the 20, 40 yard line. Still on his feet. Look at him run down to the 20 yard line. One man to beat. Gets by him. Touchdown, Freeman. How did he do that? Holy cow. 64 yard touchdown run. His fifth of the game. Royce Freeman, ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see the top rushing and the, <laughs> as I look over to our partners at KXO Radio, the top rusher wow. in the San Diego section for the next two years. That's just amazing. 
That is just amazing. They hit him in the backfield. They hit him at the line of scrimmage. They hit him a couple yards downfield. They hit him again near the goal line. Keep those Lowell fans quiet over there. Lum sets it up for Pang. Long, it's out. Low, a magnificent seven titles in the San Francisco section in dramatic style as they pull out a fantastic victory over a spirited Galileo Lions team. They win the fourth game, 31-29, and they take the 2012 Academic Athletic Association San Francisco section title. Officials say no five-second count can be started. Nobody was close enough defensively. Lyle's going to swing left side, Robinson. Here is a backdoor lob there for Grant. They've been wanting that all game. And they got it, 50-42. They lulled you to sleep, and then they hit Grant on the back door. They trail by two. McMorrow's kick is on the way, and it is good. good. St. Augustine has their first lead of the game, 21-20, to with 25 seconds to play. The senior McMorrow with a huge kick. Not the longest of his career, but the biggest of his career. Oh, St. Geez. Augustine leads it 21 to Already lining up. They won't even have to run that one more play. They just act yeah, yes. Why bother?
play penalty on number five, Trip Transu. O'Call will have man up. Assisted at the 615 mark of the second of the third quarter, McClay six, O'Call five. play. Thank you. 
Play goal by number four, Schwartz, unassisted at the 444 mark of the third quarter. McClay seven, O'Call five. out or call
Call penalty against Josh Noble. The play will be man up for 30 seconds. Play goal by number two, Stephen Chase. Assist by 15, Jeff Auger at the 53 second mark of the third quarter. McClay eight, O'Call five.
really easy to add announcers. I just wasn't going to do that tonight. Opal goal by Luke Caputo off an assist by Will Oliver at the 11.30 mark of the fourth quarter. McClay 8, Opal 6. We do the laptop and then our server as well too. And then what we'll do is we'll just shoot the, shoot the um, our tech support guys an email after the game um, with the event ID number and then they'll upload it. So it'll be out time there for. So it'll be up to 10, 15 minutes after the game. Oh, I'm not going to do it tonight, but you can actually edit highlights like immediately as soon as it's now they're not slow mo, but they're put a little description, you know, third quarter goal. If somebody doesn't want to watch the whole game, they can just watch the highlights. Yeah, you can hear that from here. Play goal by number eight, Carter Torgerson, at 8.16 of the fourth quarter.
Timeout, O'Call. against Jimmy Wheeler. O'Call will be man up. Goal by Danny Sturt, unassisted at the 5.45 mark of the fourth quarter. Assisted goal at the five minute mark for O'Call.
is our goal by Tyler Baggett at the 2.31 mark of the fourth quarter. Timeout McClay. Play goal by Transu, Trip Transu with 54.6 seconds left.
Goal by Chase at the 37 second mark. Final score, McClay 11, Oak Hall 9. Thank you. 